As you can tell, we went for a snow machine ride today. It is a beautiful day. We way overdressed. I think it's like 30 degrees. Yeah, it's getting hot out here. We're probably, I don't know, 10 miles from our house already. Yeah. We've been riding for a little while and we are heading out to this really cool cabin that's out in the woods by our house. And we went there last year, if you guys saw the video, but we still got a couple more miles to go. So we're gonna load up and get up there. Go up that way. We made it to the Moto Mushers cabin. We got stuck, or I got stuck. We dug us out, we made it up here, we brought a couple snacks, brought some coffee. As you can tell, we've pretty much taken all of our layers of clothes off. This is like the hottest it's been all winter. So we're gonna enjoy this beautiful day up here. Oh, that's so hot still. Coffee? Bottoms up, bro. <laughs> All right, guys, we're inside the cabin, and this cabin is basically out in the middle of nowhere, and I believe it's just here. I don't know who built it, but if uh, you're stranded out here or you need somewhere to stay the night, you can come in here and pretty cool little place you come on in the, um, people leave supplies here and it's got a really cool uh, like 55 gallon drum wood stove wood we left some supplies last time we came here we left some wood and a little bit of food I mean they've got just random things they've got spark plugs for snow machines they've got ways to start a fire coffee beans so pretty cool little place and there's actually a um, like a little sleeping loft upstairs I don't know how warm this thing would be though if it was really cold and well, the crutches are still here from last time and this is the view out here. It's super awesome. We're in the Talkeetna Mountains and this wind, this mountain, I don't know if it gets super windy, but that mountain over there gets really windy. So I, I don't know if this would be that fun of a place to be at night, but it's beautiful out here. We've seen lots of moose, had a moose on the trail, didn't want to get off of it, but he finally did. And then there's quite a bit over there in those hills. So you might notice from uh, our last video when we did the Iditarod that we did get a new snow machine and I'm going to show you guys what we got going on with it. But another thing that um, one of our friends is who we bought the snow machine from but he threw in this awesome shovel. So shovel's a really good thing to have. He couldn't stress that enough when you're out on a snow machine um, to dig yourself out. And we've used this a few times already. But here's our new snow machine. Well, it's new to us at least. It's a 2012 and it's a Polaris IQ LXT. And this has a 550 motor in it and it's a two stroke. When we got it, it had 2000 miles on it and we've put 150 miles on it. So we've been riding it quite a bit. Um, it's really 
an upgrade for us. Um, our old one, the Safari Deluxe, is a 94, so it's a lot older, but our Safari does have lower miles. Our Safari only has 1,300 miles on it, so it's in really good shape. This thing is actually meant for two adults, so Errol and I can ride on this thing very comfortably, and it doesn't sag down on the back and bottom out when you have that extra weight on the back like our old one did. So far, we've been loving this new snow machine. We weren't exactly in the market for a new snow machine. We were kind of looking, but we were thinking maybe next year we'd upgrade to a um, something like this. But our neighbor, who we got it from, was nice enough to sell us this one. He gave us a great deal on it. He took really good care of it. So we ended up just buying this one. We're not really into like going out in these huge mountains and um, going super fast. We more just like cruise around on groomed trails with snow machines. So something like this is really going to work out perfect for us. And when we first moved here, it was mainly just Errol and I on that one with the sled with the dogs in it. But as we've been up here and the dogs are getting older, they're both a little over 10 years old now. They don't really like coming out in the sled anymore. It's kind of hard on their legs, especially Bo. So we figured it'd be funner just to have each our own snow machine. And it's also a lot safer because if we get stuck out here like we did earlier, we couldn't get this out. At least we could have that one to, you know, ride back to town and get some help to come pull this one out. Another thing I wanted to mention about the new snow machine is it has reverse. Our other one does not. And where that was a problem was mainly if we wanted to take our snow machine somewhere and we had it on our trailer, it was really hard to pull it off backwards. Believe it or not, that old snow machine weighs a ton. So this one's really cool. It's just got an electronic reverse. You hit this button and you have reverse. This one also has, you know, the heated grips and the heated throttle. We're just gonna hang out up here for a little bit longer. We have a little more coffee and then we're gonna take a little ride around up top. There's some pretty cool views here and then we're gonna head home. <laughs> Do toss one out to it. Oh, you got three friends. It's so cool they land with their wings. Come on, guy. Okay? So that bird that just came up and landed, or the two of them, those are called gray jays. And they're known for being extremely like curious and friendly. All right, we've hung out here long enough, and it looks like some clouds are starting to roll in, so we're going to head out. So we're just looking at all the moose out there. Um, we can see them really well. Oh, I see another one by a tree. I don't even know how many are out there, obviously dozens, but there's this area Eric and I are looking at that has either like four or five and it's really not very common to see them together, group like that, at least from what we've seen. Um, sometimes you'll see like a mom, two moms with babies, but I don't usually see that many. I think there's four or five and then they're sprinkled throughout over there. Here, you pull that one. I think that one's easier to pull. Oh, this is like a lot of snow. Thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. Ready? Oh. One, two, three. Oh. 